Good day folks, it's me again. Well, for today's quick little video, we're going to be looking at this Leadvance LED floodlight. It's quite a nice unit, 17 watts, 4000 degree Kelvin light, 2400 lumens. Nicely built unit. It has a valve there to let the moisture out. Obviously uh, flying leads, which I'm not a fan of. But anyway, I had one of these on my roof covering the front garden, an earlier version, and it was up there for several years. But the recent storms that we had, the TV aerial fell off and because it was still attached to the cable it swung around like a pendulum and each time it was hitting this until it was pretty much totaled. So I bought this one as a replacement and I've had some problems with it. So let's have a look and see what was going on. Just a quick look at the box specifications there. Had enough. So there's a unit hooked up to the quick test, functions as you'd expect, it comes on when it detects movement, after several seconds it switches off. Anyway so this new version has a feature where you can actually have it as a standing dim setting, so say if you want constant light but you don't always want full power, so if I just turn this dial so now that's on, say, 40% brightness, it detects movement, ramps up to full power. When it doesn't detect any more movement, it dims back down. But obviously, uh, I didn't want that feature, I wanted it to turn off all the way, like so. Anyway, the problem I was having was, I'll demonstrate, Okay, so let's recreate. Comes on. After a few seconds. It goes off. Oh, it's still lit. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but... Oops, just wait for it to switch off again. So yeah, it's still on, and it also remains on during the day, no matter what setting I had the lux level set, or the dim set, even with it disabled, it would always remain on this low power dimming, no matter what I tried. And I was confused because I tested this on this rig before I installed it, because I set the timer and everything first before going up the ladder. So yeah, it's always on, even during the day. So what's going on? Well, I'll show you. And if I log into my UPS, you can see the current voltage is 250 volts. It actually goes quite a bit higher than that. And as you can see, the UPS complains about it during the night. You can hear it, or during the day even. You can hear it clicking away as it actually reduces the voltage going to the stuff it's powering. And therein lies the problem. When I tested it originally, I had my Variac set to 240 volts, and it works fine on 240 volts. But obviously, as you just saw, my mains voltage is quite a lot higher than that. And this thing doesn't seem to like voltages over about 245 volts. Even though technically it should be able to withstand 253. The official spec of UK mains voltage is 230 volts, minus 6% and plus 10% which gives us a range of 216 to 253 so it's still it's high but it's within spec but this doesn't like it as you've just seen so yeah if you've got one of these units and it refuses to switch all the way off even during the day then it might be that you've got high mains voltage like me I'm not sure if this is a defective unit, I can't be bothered sending it back. I had to go to Screwfix and buy one of those nasty LAP ones. So, until I can find something better anyway. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.